Hi everyone and welcome back. So this is another video of Nest ES Advanced series and I want to talk, talk about some generic topic like testing. Nest ES testing is really an important topic and what all things you need to have a setup. Nest ES CLI comes with a jest, jest for the testing engine. Like if you are building a simple Nest ES app then there are the jest is already part of it and some uh, unit tests cases are also added. So when you are doing npm run test just will execute the test cases and you should be able to see how this is working. So it is using TSS, TS node, some libraries which you don't need to worry much about. So this is main.ts and here my I can see the app controller dot spec. So I have simple controllers, user controller, user service and I will try to play with how to write the tests for the controller and services. I mean I'm not a big fan of writing the unit tests for the controller and services. You just need to have at least some test like an end-to-end -end test to validate your API works. But in unit tests, you can check your controllers by, by mocking the service implementation because what do we have is controller and a service. So you, you get the instance of controller and you call the method of a controller that it should be returning a particular value, right? Because services are actually doing integration with the API, some external source, so you cannot just uh, call the controller method which is calling a service and which is already making some HTTP call or database interface call. So it's not easy. So what we need to do is we always need to mock the service. So if the service is mocked, you can actually test your controller, you can test your service. When you are testing your controller, you know what the service, what the controller should return because you put some values in the mock interface. So this is how you will create a testing module, testing module and from testing module you can get the instance of controllers, services, providers, anything. Line 14 is important. Once you get the testing module by passing your root module or controller, you can get the instance of controller services and then you can start calling their methods. Controller dot get hello to be hello world. Controller dot uh, maybe some other method is there inside a controller. So you can just call that method and expect that this should, this should return this particular response. So here uh, what we are doing is let's say I'm writing a user service. Okay. So in the user service, how I'm doing is let's say this is app service. So this is my simple app service. App service is all about mocking the interface because services has some methods which are doing something here we are just returning a mock response but service in actual picture will be doing some api calls and all right so let's say i'm talking about a user service which is doing lots of things here you can see user service so i'm talking about a simple app service which is doing nothing much like there is app controller and app service so before each i got the instance of app service and service to be defined because i don't have much in the, the root level app service Maybe when we talk about user service, we will have something. So it's like a simple test case for a service. What I did is create testing module, get the instance of a module and from the module get the app service. So this, so this is like, like app module is actually controller, container, module is a container. Dot get, give me the service instance, dot get, give me the instance of controller. And then you can call the method which are defined inside a service. Here we don't have much. Just like get hello is returning, uh, I mean, app service is like empty. So get hello is uh, returning simply hello world. It's a simple service. So no need to mock because it is giving you the hard coded string values. But when it's interfacing with the database type ORM repositories, then you need to worry about because this app service you can see it has a get hello method. We are injecting this service inside app controller and there is a get hello method is returning a string. So you don't, don't need to mock because it is giving you the hard coded value. What if this particular service is getting data from a repository, from HTTP call, from observable and lots of other things. Then you need to worry about mocking this and how you can mock it. Let's say uh, there are many ways of even mocking. So we'll create a service provider. Okay, provide me this service and you can actually override the values and use factory inside use factory you can decide okay whatever the methods which are defined inside app service will be treated like this 
so currently i have this method get hello get hello from db i can add the mock implementation of the both the methods that when my controller is will be calling i can just uh, just dot function it is like a mock implementation and it is going to return empty array get hello so this test case will use this mock version of app service because what we are doing is we are using the custom service provider and we are overriding the value of app service with this use factory and same same app service we are passing and here you can see service provider we need to pass to our module so app service provider this is first is original service and then the mock service so next js uh, testing module container will use this mock version of things so here uh, now you can just think about how we are doing it so app service app service provider we are passing and now you can define the methods controller dot get hello to be hello world but here you can see we are returning an array so we need to change it now you can change the any string hello my world hello your world the same message needs to be returned from the controller because we actually did the mocking so they will return the values based on what we did in the mocking it's like there was a simple app service we try to make it little custom right and this is the get hello from db and you can call this method in the app service test case now this is simple right this is can be done easily this is a simple unit test case and now what we will go do is we will just talk about uh, some more advanced this is talking simply how you can mock the service methods which are returning some values but this is going to be the same for even if your service methods are calling uh, using repositories and getting the data because here we are using just dot function which is saying is whatever your function is doing for this test case is it is going to return a string hi get hello whatever you are doing in the actual implementation making http call calling database but here the implementation you are returning a simple string hi right now coming to uh, our actual database interface like here app service controller we are calling a service methods and then this is app service which is using the repositories to return the data right save find find by all find and update so how we can do it we will use the same approach we can create a mock service implementation for create find all find one update and remove and we can pass that mock service to the provider so here i'm saying is user service the actual user service but for this test case i will be using use value so this is the provider which we are using to override the implementation of user service with a new instance it's not not like overriding here we are creating a new instance of user service with the mock service interface which is using just mock functions so they will return the empty responses and here we can play with the all the methods of controller because controller is calling service service methods are mocked so we can play with the response and you can also provide a mock data if you want like create user dto and user and here we are because for create it is taking input uh, dto as a input so you need to create a proper dtos and you need to pass it and you can also do a spy because you might have seen this in lots of test cases so when you are calling a controller first add a spy on the service method and then you call the controller method so controller dot find all when this is getting called you are going to call a service method find all internally so you create a spy on and then finally check expect user service dot find all to be called if this controller is being called properly then it will call a service method and obviously it will get called so this is how we just do the things we can check okay it is returning the correct values the service methods are being called service is returning whatever is expected so all these test cases we play around this is just like one way where you are doing uh, the provider and another thing is get repository token let's say because uh, what we are doing is here th this is just another way because here you are mocking the uh, type rm repository so testing module user service you are not uh, creating a new instance of user service user service is fine it can access the type rm find find one and delete the only thing is instead of mocking the user service we are 
creating a new instance of repository with the mock values like save, find, find one and delete. We'll use this mock user repository. So there is a method get repository token. I wanted to access the user entity with this mock user repository. And this is how it really works. So there are two different ways of uh, doing the testing. And this is how the Nest.js testing world evolves. You can do the testing by different means. You can write a testing unit test for controller, for server.